Congratulations for, for, for winning the uh, Godlike Genius Award yeah. tonight. Yeah, well, well, well deserved. I, I, you know, they've, they've lost, they keep coming back. They, they just don't stop. Like, uh... It's like the liquid Terminator. <laughs> <laughs> this award in particular is actually really nerve-wracking. Woke up this morning feeling really odd because this, I guess it's some kind of lifetime achievement thing. You know, we've been lucky enough to win quite a few Brits and Enemy Awards before and Ivan Avellas, but, um, you know, this kind of feels a bit like they're putting you out to pasture. <laughs> um, it's a brilliant thing to get, don't get me wrong, but um, I'm playing in front of other musicians and stuff like that and trying to rack my brains as I look out, thinking, have I slagged them off over the last 20 years? <laughs> so, yes, I'm a bit nerve-wracked. A lot of discussion about Mansion. Yeah, yeah, the Holy Bible, it's a classic um, record. When I was about 16, yeah. the Holy Bible was a yeah. great record. Sheer Suffering, I still stand by that as a great track. Yeah. It had a huge impact on people that um, were similar age to me that were going to sort of clubs as a young age, you know, and it had a huge impact. That kind of white jeans, yeah. glam goth look was just yeah. timeless. I think it's quite a testament to them that they're still actually going and still big, you know, like they, they're so the band that's been going for. 15, 16 years, I guess. Gee so, whiz, you know, can play the guitar. You can play the guitar as well. We saw him riffing away in soundcheck. <clears throat> in our soundcheck, the other day, which is interesting. In a nutshell, we still haven't heard a Manic Street for each of the album. But one That's day I will do, and I'll, I'll, I'll be able to come back and tell you about it. We'll watch them tonight, anyway. Yeah. I think, you know, you're lying to yourself if you, if you think you can go out there and, and play kind of a pub gig. Um, I don't know, maybe people... Well, I don't enjoy that fact, but even, you know, if you watch Block Party, you're a great live, you know, I've seen them at festivals and stuff, and they're quite happy to get a big old bass drum going in a clap your hands section, you know. I think people are much less cynical about it now, so I think you have to change your mindset. I mean, we're just doing... When I was growing up, Queen at Live Aid were by far the best band because they just did the hits really fast, whereas U2 came on and did bad for about 12 minutes and then just did Pride and walked off. So, you know, we're more Queen-esque.